And welcome back. There's a new study out showing that wine, coffee, tea, and yogurt, among other foods, are good for your stomach, your gut. Forgive me. The lead author of the study telling us, quote, in particular, dietary factors including fruits, vegetables, buttermilk, coffee, and yogurt increased bacterial diversity, whereas soda and high carbohydrate intake were associated with decreased diversity. So what are we to make of this? Dr. Simone? Before we get to this, Greg, I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in your gut. You know, trillions and trillions of bacteria, fungus, and viruses that live with us. There are partners, there are friends that help with digestion. They can affect your immune system. They can even affect your mood. And now we're finding out a lot of autoimmune diseases like arthritis, even autism, are related to what goes on in your gut. So what you eat can affect those and the diversity of group of those bacteria. Mm. When we talk about adding fruits and vegetables and healthy diet, that can actually increase the diversity. It's better for your digestion, it's better for your health. Once you start adding sugary food, processed food, you know, fatty food, that actually can change it and less diverse, and that's when you start having inflammation and cancer, etc. This study actually comes from science. 1,100 participants, they look at all of them and they found out that wine, Coffee, we were right in Sunday House Hall for five years, <laughs> and tea, actually, and yogurt can actually increase the diversity. It's good for you. How does that Sugary do that, drink though, is not good Dr. for you. Dr. Siegel, how does that increase the diversity? Dr. Sabati's just By talking the way, it's about. a great study because they actually collected people's stools and then they asked them questions. What are you eating? Oh, that's and, exciting. And, and they, put it, they put the two <laughs> together. Things that make doctors uh, excited. <laughs> Here's the thing it's what is it that's generating the good bacteria in your gut? You know, genetics, everyone's different. That's one thing. But that's the question that you're asking. How do we get the good bacteria? And one thing we know, and this study also confirmed it, antibiotics give you the bad bacteria. The yeah, problem with like antibiotics, antibiotics is they're not targeted enough. So this study also showed that people that overtake antibiotics do not have the diversity there. And there's a, there's a protein called fecal chromogranin A. You're going to hear more about this protein. When it's high, you're in trouble. You don't want this thing, and that's what they're studying in the gut. Things like fruit and vegetables, coffee, tea, even a glass of wine is okay to have. We found, they found, the study your author told me that wine. Red improves. or white, does it matter? I didn't ask her that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question. I probably read. Uh, but usually it's red. Yeah, well, usually. there's some red. Well, what's interesting <laughs> is that they found the 126 factors, going back to what you were saying, that can affect the ecosystem and the diversity of these bugs down in your gut. So, for example, 60 of them have to do with your diet, what you eat plays a huge role. But the disease that you have or right. the medications that you take also can affect this. So again, going back to your healthy lifestyle, getting enough sleep, making sure you eat healthy food can actually change what you, you are what you eat, which is really important. Question. So is it possible that a lot of people who feel like they have uh, acid reflux that they might just need to change what they're eating? Absolutely. People that are absolutely. People absolutely. That are and they may, they may be eating too much sugar, by the way. A lot of times eating too much sugar or sugary food, she found that too. So it's not just that the fruit and vegetables is the good stuff and coffee and tea is the, and maybe wine is the good stuff. The bad stuff is all that processed food we're eating, all of those cupcakes we're eating, all that bread we're eating. That is making the, the, the gut flora narrow. And when it's narrow, all kinds of health problems occur. You don't have the right absorption going on. We absorb all our nutrients there. We want a diverse population of bacteria to be at our health. Well, healthy. special notice to pregnant women who are smokers. This right. was a big red flag in this study. If you're a pregnant woman and you've been smoking, you need to stop. And also a lot of these fatty food can change your bugs to bacteroides as opposed to provitella. These are different kind of bugs. So again, stick to a lot of like healthy food. You know, I, I always have a cup of yogurt every day and, and it kind of grosses my, one of my youngest daughter out. She says, oh, dad, it has live bacteria in it. But that's you good. It. You good. want it. And, and you know, the other thing that this didn't look at, and again, these, this is early research. We're going to have more of this, but the, the probiotics are going to be the answer to the future here. We're going to end up saying, you had an antibiotic? Here's what you need to take I, now to replenish your gut. I think the answer to a lot of the diseases are right there in our gut. So many Absolutely. times you see people are just tired, they're bloated, right. they just eat or they sleep and they're worse than them before they went to bed. And I, we're going to find this. And in the future, what they're saying is that they can take some bacteria and transplant it in, from a healthy person to a sick person, wow. and that implantation and transplant is going to change the way we practice medicine. So not, a lot not to, of secrets not, not, to go, not to gross anybody out, but I'm going to pretend I'm Dr. Izzy for a minute and say transit time is important too. 
how long it takes from the time you eat it to, to right. it comes out. How long stool. should it what, take? What, well, I don't know. The, they're studying that. It, it, they're studying that. But the consistency of the stool, hard stool is not as good as soft. Right. They, More, well, soft. number one, you, don't, you want to make sure that you don't take a lot of laxatives. But too again, go back, to the, no go back to the DASH diet right. that we too long spoke is about. No good. Okay. Serving of fruits and vegetables and healthy On that diet. pleasant and note. Wait, and it's better to have the Greek yogurt, right? Not all the stuff with all the sugar. Sure. Right. It has a lot of like. All right.